Um, right, in this video I'm going to talk about the role of the other female characters in the film Maria Yeneres de Gracia. Um, so we're going to be looking at the characters of Blanca, Lucy, Carla, and to a lesser extent Diana, and possibly a little bit of... Um, of uh, Maria's mother as well. Um, again, these are just my ideas. Um, please do think about it. Please do think about other scenes where these women appear. I'm not going to be talking about absolutely everything. Uh, again, this is hopefully some ideas that will start you off. You may agree, disagree, but please expand, think about it, and so on. Um, the very first thing I'm going to say about uh, the role of the secondary characters is that they are there as part of the story in order to help shape, define, um, challenge, um, teach um, the you know I think I said challenge already the, the the Maria character. I think that they're there to provide examples to help her along the way to provide her with tests. Uh, but also to raise awareness for the audience of other situations, other issues that we might not be, that we might not have picked up upon. Um, so they have a very important role, obviously, uh, in the in the film. Um, the first two that I'm going to discuss, I'm going to discuss basically what the characters are there for, why they're there, why they're part of the plot and what we get from them. And then if we've got time, I'll just talk a little bit about their characters and, and analyse those a little bit. Um, basically, I'm going to group uh, Lucy and Carla together. For me, Lucy and Carla are two potential paths that Maria could go down. They are, if you like, Maria's future. Um, both of them have... Under, undergone um, the same type of journey that Maria is currently undergoing, um, and again they are there, but they've their journey has taken them on very different paths. For example, Lucy is very much like the the figure that has been tempted, has gone down the route of becoming a drug mule, of taking the money. Um, and it obviously leads to her eventual death. But it's important to note that it's also let her, lent, uh, led her sorry, towards um, a lot more solitude, a lot more loneliness. It's separated her from her family. It has uh, given her a sense of emptiness in many ways. We don't see her with any friends. Uh, we we think that she's completely lost control of her destiny. She is. She says, for example, uh, I didn't know that I was going to come again either. So she's someone that um, you know. Shortly before the the same events have affected Maria, has gone down that route, and this is where it's led her to a lack of control, separation from her family, and obviously her tragic death. Um, Carla, on the other hand, has carried has has emigrated, but has kind of done it, if you like, the proper way, if we like. She's um, she's kind of working, she is uh, part of a family, um, she is aware of what her responsibilities are, and it's very obvious that, as we see her heavily pregnant in the film, this is an advanced stage of where Maria is going to be, and Carla teaches Maria very much why she has made this decision and why Maria should make a decision as well. And again, obviously Carla doesn't know that Maria is pregnant, but... You know, she says, look, you're going to stay. I know you're going to stay in America because you're going to have more opportunities. There's more jobs. There's less violence here than it, there is in, in uh, Colombia. Um, you know, if you have a family, then they'll be brought up with more chance in life. So, again, Carla really is the voice of reason. She is the, uh, the, the person that, uh, if there was any doubt, uh, and I think there really is, you know, Maria is still very much convinced about the fact she's going to return to, to Colombia, in which case she'll probably go down the same path as Lucy. But Carla, if you like, after um, Maria has become aware of her potential responsibilities towards the baby, really hammers home the point. She says, look, you know, just think of what it's going to do for your, your family. Every time I give money to them, to my family, I feel this incredible sense of pride and my heart's going to explode in my chest. Again, Maria becomes very aware of what her responsibilities are and how she can best carry out her responsibilities of supporting her baby, of supporting uh, her mother, her grandmother, and Deanna and her child. Um, and this, and the best way of doing that is obviously staying in America and obviously also by uh, escaping from the drug trade that has claimed the life of her sister Lucy. Again, I should have mentioned that Lucy is also a teacher. Um, 
she teaches her teaches Maria about the 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 risks and pitfalls of the drug trade of becoming a mule and what risks it can entail. Um, and again, there's a horrible tragedy and a horrible irony of the fact that all the things that that Lucy warns Maria about actually come to pass for her as well. The fact that you know she says make sure they're wrapped up properly, but you know obviously one of them becomes unwrapped and kills her. Uh, the fact that you know, you, you know, of how many peppers you might have to take, the responsibility that's put on your shoulders, the threats that are involved. Um, so both these two women are potential paths that Maria could take. Um, one is the path of temptation and what it leads to. Uh, the other one is more of the, the slightly more moral path of responsibility. Uh, and I think that's very important as to what the characters of Lucy and Carla are for uh, and how they should be really analysed. Um, if we look at Blanca then, Blanca really is on the same path of Maria. Um, again, she's in exactly the same situation, um, faces exactly the same problems and stresses and, and strains and so on, with the exception of obviously Maria's got a, a baby to think about. Um, so Blanca is the is the the other side. It's it's uh, again not everyone is going to do the right thing um, if you're a, a poor. Uh, migrant or if you're someone that is vulnerable to being um, uh, exploited by the drug trade. Blanca is very much the symbol of those kind of people and again Blanca's character is is if you like perfectly set up towards being exploited. She's very vulnerable, she's very weak, she has no kind of uh, inner strength to, to make her do the, the you know anything really I mean she finds it hard to go and talk to men Maria is the one that leads her to do that she uh, becomes a mule basically because um, because Maria has as well she follows Maria around the whole time uh, apart from when she uh, you know they run off she runs off outside um, Carla's house so again Blanket is a very uh, um, sheep like character um, she's very controlled she's very malleable um, the other things that Blank is important for, though, is, again, she elucidates and she clarifies um, just how big an issue the the drug trade can be for very poor or, you know, or lower class people. Again, when they're washing clothes um, and Maria and Lucy, so and Blanca says to Maria that she's also spoken with Franklin, she's going to be a mule as well. She says, look, the money will buy me a house. Um, and that's just one trip. This is this is a life changing thing for her. This can give, for example, Blanca's family a new house, more room, more facilities and so on. It's a, it's a life-changing thing. It's something that a lot of people would be tempted to do if there aren't any, if there aren't many other options. And again, Blanca seems to be in the same place as Maria. She works in a plantation. It doesn't pay very much. That seems to be one of the best jobs in this particular area. Um, why would you not do that? Why, you know, if you're convinced that it's safe and if you're not particularly educated and if you're desperate and you need and you're tempted by giving yourself a better life, why would you not do that? Uh, other things that that Blanca is for is really being the kind of the voice of the audience at, at various times. Um, that she asked, what are we going to do? What are we going to do now? What's the problem? She she often is the person that is there to say, right, in case you're not really clear of what the issues are that are facing Maria and Blanca at the moment, she's going to ask that question so that kind of Maria can say, oh, I'm worried about this, or I'm not sure what I'm going to do, or I think we have to do this, or but we don't have this, and we have to give the money back, or they're going to kill us. So Blanca becomes like a chorus, or a, a, almost like a narrator's voice saying, these are the things that you need to be thinking thinking of as an audience. These are the pressures that are facing uh, these girls and obviously therefore many migrants or drug mules or people who might become drug mules in the future. Um, again, the most important thing Blanca does um, amongst all her kind of, hey, buddy, kind of whining that always goes on is really um, hammering home the, the big mistake of responsibility that Maria hasn't become aware of which is the life of her her potential baby uh the argument they have outside um don fernando's um kind of office where you know blanca tells maria how stupid she is for swallowing drugs when she has a baby um really hits home to maria and again this is the moment where i think her sent maria's sense of responsibility and what she must do and of being aware of this life within her and taking into account of what is inside that counts 
uh, really hits home. And again, Blanca is the voice that allows her to do this. So again, Blanca, in lots of ways, is a very tragic character. She is someone without this, the same purpose or same de uh, decisiveness or resourcefulness or strength that, that Maria has. And when Blanca returns in the to Colombia in the airport, um, it's almost sure that she will probably go down the same path of Lucy, and that's part of Blanca's tragedy. Um, I think it's important to note that all the all the women in the film, uh, or a lot of the women in the film, with the exception of Carla, have become real kind of commodities, have become almost objects. Uh, certainly all the three drug mills, or four if you count the curly-haired lady, are little more than vessels for men. They are basically drug carriers. They are carrying drugs. They are uh, effectively a suitcase. Um, they are basically less important than the drugs they contain. Um, they've all lost control of their destiny. Um, and again, even thing, even people like Diana, and um, which is Maria's sister, and the mother have almost fallen into the same trap. They're, they're really not in control of their destiny. Diana is another example of a potential path of Maria, a very, very close path. She has, you know, being impregnated, she's had a baby, the, the, the guy that impregnated has left her. Um, Maria does not want to end up like that. And again, Juan you know, makes it very clear how, how Diana's seen. She says, oh, she was stupid. She fell for the first guy that came by. Uh, again, Maria doesn't want to be like that. And again, there's, a very, there's a, the other nice conversation with Diana that reveals something that Maria is going to learn is where Maria, when she comes back from meeting um, Don Javier, uh, gives a lot of money and says, you know, at least I do my job, you know. Um, this is, it should be your responsibility to look after your child. It's not mine, it's yours. Uh, and it's ironic that, again, Maria doesn't really realise this herself until Blanca, um, you know, shouts it at her as well. So it's pretty much the same conversation in many ways. You know, you're not take responsibility. Um, so that's one aspect of, of Maria uh, learning something from Diana as well. Um, and again, Diana has been affected by men. She has become, you know, a vessel for pleasure, if you like. The man hasn't taken responsibility for what might happen to her, uh, much as, for example, Franklin and um, Javier don't really take responsibility for what happens to Lucy or Blanca or, or Maria. Um, so they're all they're all victims of men too. Um, you could even argue that the the mother is also a victim of 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 men or potentially the the male society. She is really. Um, she's not challenged it at all. She thinks that uh, you have to ask for the job back. You know, he's probably, you know, you have to be sorry for what you've done. You shouldn't have said that to, to the guy in charge. Simply, this is a good job. This is all that we have for us. We have to do what we have to do, and that's all there is to it. Uh, Maria is not content to be this kind of um, accepting female figure who just doesn't challenge the problems of, of society around her. Um... So I think that's important to note as well. Um, what haven't I said yet? Um, yeah, so the only one that isn't really uh, or hasn't really been controlled by men or isn't a victim of men is Carla. Uh, the relationship she has with, with her husband, Pedro, uh, Pablo, is a lot more loving and caring. And again, I think that's something that Maria will aspire to. She sees that as a nice example with Pablo opening the door and so on for her um, you know, becoming a, almost a secondary figure in the house at some points. Um, so that's kind of what all the um, the women are for. Um, what the the roles that they play and how they shape uh, Maria um, in terms of her potential, uh, her physical and um, personal journey throughout the film. But also, I think in terms of they all represent. Um, uh, the, the social pressures that a lot of women in Colombia in that certain circumstance will face, as well as um, the the problems of the migrant issue and the roots of, of the social problems which lead to participation in the drug trade and why it's very difficult to stop. Uh, and again, these are two of the messages of the director in the film and uh, how he uses his female characters in order to get those messages across. Again, there's lots of things there that I probably haven't said. I haven't really gone into a huge amount of detail. Uh, in terms of their character descriptions, but hopefully there's enough there for you to think about and consider when you might tackle a question like this.